Hi guys, welcome to Parlin Science and Maths TV. It's good to have you once again. In this video, we are solving for the value of x in the equation 2x exponent 4 is equal to 162. Now, before I proceed to solve this problem, I'll be very glad if you pause the video, try your hands on it. Then also, if you are new on this channel, if this is a kind of content you are looking for, I'll be very glad if you subscribe to this channel, then visit my page to watch other videos. Now to solve this problem, we are going to make x exponent for the subject. And we can only do this by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So 2x exponent 4 divided by 2 and this is equal to 162 divided by 2 so this cancels that and I'll be left with x exponent 4 is equal to 81 since 162 divided by 2 is 81 now for every equation the exponent of the variable determines the number of eight values so what it means is that there is no only one value for x because the exponent of x is 4 it means that the values of x must be 4 the values of x must be 4 so how do we get these four values so to get these four values let's rearrange this equation so to rearrange this equation what i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract 81 from both sides of the equation so I'm going to get x exponent 4 minus 81 is equal to 81 minus 81 which is the same as x exponent 4 minus 81 is equal to 0 or simply put it's just the same as transferring 81 to the left hand side so it becomes x exponent 4 minus 81 and because you have transferred everything to the other side it will be left with zero okay which is the same as what i've done here so now we have x exponent 4 minus 81 is equal to zero now if you if you take a look at the 81 you realize that we can break 81 down to get 9 square because 81 is a perfect square then also x exponent 4 is also a perfect square because we can get x squared out of this which is x squared so when we square everything we are going to get x exponent 4 then over here when we square this we are going to get 81 so because of that so because of that i can write x exponent 4 minus 81 as x squared all squared minus 9 squared which is equal to 0 now if you take a look at this this represents difference of two squares now for difference of two squares it states that if we have a squared minus b squared this is given by a minus b multiplied by a plus b so in this case you realize that you have everything here squared you have 9 squared so we can expand what we have here using the difference of 2 squared so that should give us a minus b multiplied by a plus b where in this case x squared is our a and then 9 is our b so expanding gives me x squared minus 9 now i'm left with a plus b then x squared plus 9 this is equal to 0 now you can pause the video and expand these two brackets you end up getting what we have here so if we have 
a situation like this it is either x minus 9 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 9 is equal to 0 so if x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 let's find for the value of x so x squared gives us 9 and so i'm going to find square root of both sides x squared square root of 9 in this case it becomes positive and negative so what it means is that i'm going to get x is equal to root of 9 is 3 so that becomes positive or negative 3 which means that x is equal to negative 3 or x is equal to positive 3 so we've gotten two values of x now it's left with another two values of x so now let's come to the second part where we have x squared plus 9 is equal to 0 so let me make x squared a subject so x squared gives us negative 9 so finding the square root of both sides gives us now this gives us x is equal to remember this is positive or negative so positive or negative or square root of negative 9 now when you have this this is the same as this is the same as positive or negative square root of negative 1 times square root of 9 now square root of negative 1 is a complex number which is i and square root of 9 is positive or negative 3 and therefore and therefore x is equal to positive or negative 3i because 3 times the complex root gives us the 3i and hence x is equal to 3i or negative 3i therefore the values of x are x is equal to x is equal to negative 3 positive 3 negative 3i and positive 3i thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to leave a comment behind or subscribe to this channel